cold, isn't it? Let's get back to Leith Central and do some modelling, shall we? Hello and welcome back to Leith Central and a Happy New Year to you all. Hope you're all keeping well, considering we're in the middle of another lockdown. Uh, over the course of the past couple of weeks in the new year, I've been working on the headshunt area and also this level crossing and the start of the hard standing. Uh, also getting some laying down for the hard standing underneath where the rapid loader will be. We've had a new arrival in the form of 08720, which is a long awaited arrival from Olivia's trains that I'll talk you through. And also the uh, ECC International Clay Tigers uh, in weathered ECC white have arrived as well, which will form a later a separate video a review of those wagons and so we'll take a look at this area I've been working on and some other little piece, bits and pieces I've been cracking on with on the central so enjoy the bit and I'll see you at the end
Right, so with the base ballast and um, ground cover down, next stage is to put some green into it, and for that I have this little tub here. Now this is a mixture of eight different colours of grass and stuff. I may say this may be an expensive approach, but it really isn't. What I like to do is, um, you see uh, companies will sell you little taster bags like this. So what I do is I order a set, I've ordered a set of taster bags that had eight different shades of green in it, and I've just then mixed them together. So this means I can then make, a, you've got basically a full bag of scatter there in around eight different colours. You can mix it together and then that way no area of rough ground is ever going to look the same. It's just a little method I'm going to try out on this area here. Uh, also in there I've got some bits of tarmac and different soots and stuff that we can use for ballast weathering. As you saw we're putting some of the brown in with the ballast in the previous clips. So I'll get on with putting some greenery down and then we'll look at to get look at using the Will's um, static grass start pack to put some static grass down on there just to try out that product.
first new arrival at Leeds Central is one that's been seven months in the making, working uh, alongside Olivia's trains to get the livery just right on this new 08 folder collection, number 08720, one of the Haymarket pilots, and uh, it spent time at Haymarket, Miller Hill and Thornton Junction in this livery, uh, so it covers quite a lot of the geographical area that I am encompassing into the model. Uh, painted in British Railways Provincial or Regional Railways livery. Um, it was one of, I think, only two or eights that carried the livery, the other one being based down south somewhere, I think somewhere around the Manchester area. But uh, this one was based in Scotland the entire time it was in the livery. Uh, it's a loco I've specifically wanted for the collection for quite a long time, as those who follow the channel know uh, Regional Railways livery is one of my favourites, so to have it on an 08 is a nice addition to the collection and one I've wanted for quite a while. So 08720 will be the principal shunter for Leith Central, uh, shunting the carriages around the side, around the station, but also shunting the boat terminal and the wagon works where the 37s are parked behind it. So a useful addition to the collection and one that is currently unique to Leith Central, but if you do fancy one in this livery, I can recommend that you get yourself along to Olivia's Trains and it is available on either the Backman or Hornby 08 currently. And you can have the DCC ready, DCC fitted, or you can have ad additional details fitted and working lights fitted also at a premium cost. Uh, if you do want a local that's unique to you at a premium, I can recommend the Olivia's service and they are, their engagement and customer service was spot on through the entire process. So I can only recommend that. I can only recommend them highly. The second edition. or should I say additions, has been this pair of English China Clay International uh, white clay tigers as they are known in weathered condition. I managed to pick these up uh, at a nice new, a nice Boxing Day offer under the RRP, so I picked these two up on the cheap uh, just going into the new year. So I just, although I didn't get any models for Christmas, there was a couple that arrived around Christmas or were on Christmas discounts that I managed to pick up. These English China Clay International wagons will form a separate review at some point on the channel. Uh, or if there is anything else you'd like to see me review from the collection, please let me know in the comments below. Because it's been a while since I've done a review video and these are the latest arrivals. Another little piece of work I've been finishing off is I've just been fitting some weights to these Patchside Dundas VEA vans and the ODA. The ODA I've actually fitted a two pence piece into the, onto the deck of the wagon, you can just see there. Um, the next part of this work will be to come up with a load to put over the top of that to match the fact that that's there. Uh, so I'll be looking at loads for ODAs and also I'll be looking to add another one to this collection in the rail freight distribution livery. Uh, this is sort of like a uh, wagon parts train or um, could also be an MOD train uh, that I've put together and I'm um, looking to add some more VAs to this whether they be part side or the upcoming Backman model that we seem to have waited forever and a day for but the 20 throat 3s have arrived so maybe we're getting a little bit closer to them arriving Another thing done this month is the fitting of the first piece of back scene to the station board. This was just to make sure that the clearance for this curve was correct and also to check the positioning of the overhead signal box from the previous leaf central. They have all been marked up and measured so the uh, back scene will remain in situ now. It's just a piece of MDF or fibre board um, with a sheet of ID back scenes sky self-adhesive back scene fitted to it which is what I'm going to use for the full length and then I'm going to build sort of retaining walls and buildings up against the back scene to make it interesting as it goes along the side of the layout there. I 
also another little job done this month is getting this um, back support cut for where the overhead rapid loader will be so to give you some idea of the overall length of the rapid loader there this is this piece of wood will form the back plate for the rapid loader with the detailing fitted on this edge uh, so that will be the actual back of where the rapid loader goes and then the hoppers will be at this height here so that's where i'll be able to reach in to fill wagons up within the hopper so that first piece is there the next stage will be to get all the groundwork for under the hopper complete uh, so I'll be hence doing the back siding first uh, so I'm aiming to work forward across this area towards the camera and get all the groundwork done and in place slowly but surely from this back corner working back forwards of course while it maintains my interest we might move on to something else that isn't groundwork to keep it interesting
Well, I hope you enjoyed the update and uh, looking at the developments on the hills. We're actually starting to get some scenery now, which is always positive. Uh, if you want to keep up with the channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button below and uh, highlight the little bell icon so you get a notification every time there's a new episode up. There's also uh, going to be archive videos going up on the channel and hopefully you can see some wildlife uh, in the local area as well when there isn't six inches of flood snow on the floor. Uh, so it's good weather for me cracking on with modelling, so hopefully I'll get another update out quite quickly. And once again, hope you're enjoying your new year and all staying safe in the current pandemic conditions. And I'll see you on the next update. Thanks for watching. See you again.